example five is finding the number of terms, but the information you get given is in sigma format. Okay, so the question simply says determine M, which is related to finding the number of terms, but the number of terms itself would actually be top minus bottom plus one, right? Okay, so let's just get that first. So I'm going to just make some little notes for myself and get some roundabout things because I know there's going to be a whole lot of basically sidebar calculations that have to happen before I can actually even start. Okay, so number of terms. Um, I'm actually just going to write that out instead of saying N because it gets confusing. Number of terms. That is going to be top minus bottom plus one. So it's M minus two plus one which gives me minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, so m minus 1. Okay, so what we need to take from that is that we, we're going to be dealing with s, the sum, to m minus 1, because that's the number of terms I want, and then at the end of the day, I'm going to get that, but then I need to work out what m is. Okay, right. So this is quite a long calculation. Um and we're going to need to do a number of things first. So, fine, I know my number of terms. Um, I'm given, I'm given that. I'm given the sum to these terms. This is actually, this is equal to the sum to m minus 1 terms. Okay, so I've got Sn and I've got, um, yeah, I've basically got Sn. Okay, so now what? Um, I need a whole bunch of stuff. Normally when you're given sigma, I want to say every single time, and I'm sure there'll be one time when it doesn't work out that way, um, you have to expand. Okay, so um, that's a good rule of thumb. When you see sigma and you've got to do other stuff with it, just like get T1, 2, and 3 and take it from there. Right, so I'm going to get T1. That's going to be when K is 2. All right, so that's obviously A. So I'm just going to remind myself of that. So it's going to be 1 over 15. And it's going to be 3 to the power of the first one, which is 2. So it's 2 minus 1. Okay. That I can really just plug and play into calculator. And I'm going to get out 0, 2. Right. I know it's geometric, but we don't have R. We need to get it. T2 is going to be 1 over 15. Then it's 3. And now the next one up from 2 will be 3. So it's going to be 3 minus 1. Um, that's 0, 6. Okay, once I've got those two, I can get the ratio. So um, you should work under your, your previous work, but obviously I've got like an aspect ratio to deal with here, so I'm just going to do it on the side. So um, my R is going to be T2 over T1, which is 0, 0,6 over 0, 0,2, and that gives me 3. From what I just worked out, I've got A, I've got... A equals to 0 comma 2 and I've got R equals 3. What am I doing? Let's go back and check out the question. So I've got to find the number of terms or M which is close to that with this whole thing and they're giving me the sum to the number of terms they don't give me. So I'm dealing with an SN formula. I have a and R. I have Sn. Okay, I've kind of got what I want. What is my N in my formula, my number of terms? Do you remember? I got it here. It was the first thing that I did. My N is actually M minus 1. And then my Sn for that one was the 24,2 in the original question. So now I've got all the bits that I need to be able to plug into the sum formula. So, Sn, just going to write out the formula. Um, I do think it's cool to write out formulas as often as you need to. I feel like I need to right now because it's quite complicated. Just want to make sure I'm on the right track. My Sn I had as the 24,2. A I got 0, 0,2. R was 3. Oh, here comes the bit that's awkward. My N is M minus 1. Ish, okay, then minus 1, and then a minusing 1, the over 3 minus 1, so that's 2, right? Okay, 
Again, can't multiply in because super, super awkward and not um, following bed mass. So what I need to do is multiply that 2 on that side. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to have 48,4. And then I'm going to have this 0,2 thing with the 3 to the m minus 1 and then minusing another 1. I want to get rid of this thing. Um, so I'm going to divide both sides by the 0,2. And I will just continue that process up here. So dividing by 0, 0,2, obviously this is going to get bigger because I'm basically multiplying because it's a fraction. Okay, so when I divide by 0, 0,2, I get 242 equals this thing because I've gotten rid of that. So it's going to be 3 to the m minus 1 and then minus 1. And then that's easy because I'm just going to add on. So it's 243. Oh, how perfect because if you don't know, that's a power of 3. Um, and that gives me 3 to the m minus 1. Okay, exponential equation, prime factors. So get this into prime factors using your factorize button on your calculator. That gets me to 3 to the 5 equals 3 to the m minus 1. So then 5 equals m minus 1 plus 1 there. So m equals 6. Question again, determine m. Okay, I've got it. Just as a an interest point, um, how many terms are there? Because the number of terms is actually m minus 1. So I've actually got five terms in this sequence. So they didn't ask for that, but they could have. Um, and I think it's interesting to just, in my head, plug it back and get that answer.